Hi there, this is uh, the Battle of Nemea, 394 BC, um, which took place in Peloponnesus near Corinth um, on the dried out riverbed Nemea. And uh, um, what have you we seen? Well, we have seen some. Uh, Initial cavalry assaults done by this unit, the Spartan uh, cavalry unit here, who actually destroyed an Athenian medium heavy cavalry, which brought uh, the Spartans their first victory banner, by the way. And uh, they continued their assaults here, uh, hitting those uh, light infantry and actually badly crippling those hoplites back there, who fought back, of course, but. Um, didn't manage to eliminate the evading cavalry. <coughs> uh, we are also seeing the Spartan line marching up towards the, the anti-Spartan alliance who are deployed here uh, with the Athenians on the right, Boeotians here, and we have some Thebans and Corinthians and other guys in the center. Um, what else? Well, those guys has been, have been quite stationary there because the anti-Spartan league have only got cards on their left hand side so we have seen only action here more or less we have seen some skirmish from the Spartans here see uh, one hit there but otherwise uh, not much happening here in the center but now we have uh, moved up Arist Aristodemus what does it was it the, the name yeah Aristodemus I remember that correctly um, he's now well, well, he, he had managed to bring his line just um, in front of the enemy hoplites and it's their turn so they can now make the first step and actually attack those lines. So I think we're going to see some heavy hoplite uh, spear battle here now. Uh, let's see what we have. We have a counterattack. That would be three units there because this was the last card played by the anti-Spartan alliance, we have two units in the center and we have this I am Spartacus, you probably remember that from the last time. So if we play this we can roll six dice and um, we would like to get loads of blue, uh, blue symbols right so we can attack with uh, as many hoplites as possible. Uh, if we get the leader symbol we can, unit, we can order any unit or leader. And the cool thing with this is we get one extra die in our battle. So this is really, really good. But it all depends on how we roll. So we're going to roll six dice for the Spartans. And uh, we are hoping for leaders and blue symbols. Uh, basically all other uh, results are dummies. <clears throat> uh, yeah, that's it. So let's see. Oops, that was a bad roll. Is flags really dummies? Don't say they are dummies. Uh, unit symbol, leader. Oh my. <laughs> what an anti climax. I was thinking this. Uh, well, 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 we got the leader and we got a green, so we could actually at least order our slingers. Um, they can battle with three dice, that's not bad, but this was bad. So, who should do the attack? Because I want to attack still, right? Because we have that extra die. Uh, I could do it with Aristodemus himself because then he could, you know, momentum advance and battle again if we manage to. Oh, I don't know. Gosh, this was a bad roll. Okay, but anyway, we gotta do it. So we order the light units and. 
I will actually attack with my flanking unit there now. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. So those guys will not move because they want to get the maximum fire capability. But these guys will of course move into it's a, it's a strange charge here from the Spartans. Um, just the flanking hoplite unit doing the charge or just watching. But that's how it goes. And let's start with the skirmish. So over there we got normally two dice, but the card gives us one additional die. So it's three dice and we're gonna fire against that unit again with the leader. Let's see, we want uh, at least one blue. We didn't get that, so that was a bad roll again for the Spartans. But maybe here's the important thing. So I will attack the enemy hoplites there now. And I got, by that card, we got five dice, right? So now we also hit with leader symbols because we are adjacent to Aristodemus. And, well, two casualties and two flags. Let's see. Let's take the casualties first. And, well, the first flag they can, of course, ignore. But the second one they're gonna... They have to take it, so they cannot battle back. That's too bad. So we got two uh, hoplite units in a bad shape back there now. And I don't want to gain ground. I want to stay here with my leader. Uh, but it's a bit of a bulge in their uh, hole created by this uh, push of pikes there. Or, <laughs> or uh, spears. And, uh, well, the lines looks pretty strange, right? This hook, or maybe an inverted S or something, then this little hook there on the bulge Okay, that's <laughs> strange lines, but okay. And since we played this card, we need to reshuffle the deck. So we're gonna do that now and be back in a second. All right, the deck is reshuffled. I have drawn a new card for the Spartans. And now it's the anti-Spartans. <laughs> okay, all right, this is this is really good now. They have a good chance to, to fight back. Since the Spartans did hesitate in their assault and only one guy or one unit rushed forward, now the anti-Spartan alliance get their chance to uh, uh, get the, the, the first combat in here. Uh, okay, no ranged combat, that's fine. So we're gonna uh, order five units with this card and that's really good because that will be one two three four and five of course we could bring in the cavalry but no i want to get the hoplites into action now big time so here we go big assault here coming and remember we even got that plus one modifier really cool So here we go. Um, does it make sense to start in a certain position here? Let's see. Uh, well. question is, we don't have any unsupported units, that's, yeah, we do, we actually have that guy, we could start there with the, that leader unit, if we can get that to retreat, you know, we can follow up and attack again, okay, we break ourselves loose from the line here, that's not good, I don't like that, but we could get some good hits on those guys, so I will start here attacking those hoplites, so we got five dice, I know, if we get one flag, those guys need to retreat. We got that flag and we got two hits. So first of all, two blocks away from that unit. Then they need to take the flag. They go here, they can't battle back. We will follow 
and attack the same unit once again. And now we would like to see three hits. We got those three all right. Perfect. So in one blow, or actually two blows, we got that uh, uh, Spartan Hoplite unit, and I mean real Spartan Hoplite unit, and banner. So it's one to one now. And should we go once more? No, we can stay here, I guess. That's okay. Um, so we are facing Aristodemos here now. As, Bracing ourselves for the attack coming from here, which will happen. Uh, so what here? We can get two hits on the same unit with a bit of luck. So I think I. The bad thing is now we lost the leader bonus there. So maybe I did this in wrong sequence anyway. Well, that's done now. So we're gonna attack here against those guys, and it's five dice again, of course. This time we attack the Spartan allies and one, two, three hits. Really, really good. Really good. But they will now battle back, but only with four dice, of course. And they are not adjacent to leaders, that's not a hit. They didn't hit us at all, but they got a flag on us, and we need to take that because we are no longer supported. So we need to go here. But I'm gonna use all my power to eliminate those guys now. Maybe it's more wise to attack here. I don't really know. Um, I'll, I'll wait with that guy and take that guy and attack those hoplites with the leader there. Or should we go against those guys? Mm, hard decisions. It would be nice to get the flag of course. But I'm using you know five dice to get one hit. Instead, I could bring these two units down uh, and get them next turn or something, right? And that would be really, really good. Um, maybe we should do this attack first. I'm, I'm a bit scared to do that because I only have three blocks left here. But I'm gonna do it anyway because those have only one target, and it's those guys. So. We're gonna do that attack first, then see what happens. It's five dice. Um, and pretty good. Three hits. Like that. And two flags. And he can actually ignore two flags because he has a leader and he's supported. Uh, but he might actually take it. Let's see. We're first gonna see if the leader survives. Yeah, he did. So now I had the option to take one or two of those flags. Maybe I should do it now because uh, otherwise I'm just gonna get killed with the next unit here. So I will take those two flags actually. Yeah, one, two, we go down here. Um, what's not good with that is that those guys can now advance and attack again and they will now attack here. And now it's five dice again. This is really, really devastating. I know that. They got two hits and a flag, and I'm not supported anymore here. So two down, and I take that flag. We go here. Good thing with that is those guys don't have any target anymore. Uh, we could go in there too, and I will of course do that just to get that leader bonus. Okay, I'm blocking my retreat path, but on the other hand, I could, if this situation is um, still valid, I can ignore two flags. So we have one combat left to roll for, we need one hit, and that should be easily done with two or five um, uh, dice, and it was not that sure, but luckily we got that leader symbol, and now we have that leader adjacent to us, so those guys are done. And we got the second banner for the Anti-Spartan Alliance. We could uh, advance here. Let's do that just to get a buffer here in between those guys and our leader with a weakened unit. Like that. Okay. So now it's a full chaos here with a battle raging back and forth. 
Okay. Man, that section. Okay, and now it's the Spartans. Two in the center, three, one, one each sector, or a counterattack, which of course is a mounted charge. There's no question about it. We need to play this now. Um, so it's a mounted charge. We can order six units. We only have actually one, two, three, four hoplites, and that cavalry unit left has been so heavy losses here. But I'm gonna do it. I, I'm not gonna. No, we have that guy as well. Okay. Too bad he's in a far away from the enemies. But you know, I, I'm, I'm just gonna go all in now because we cannot just sit and watch uh, those guys attacking us. So we're gonna do it. So we will actually order those guys two, three, four. Let's get those guys too to play. Maybe we can move the cavalry a bit closer. We can do a strike later on. Uh, so that's all the guys we can order and let's see who who are our prime targets now it's uh, let's move those guys up one step there like that those guys follow here those guys will move here, those guys move there, and these just follows. Like that. And I will start here, attacking those guys. That's the only target I have, by the way. So I have five dice now. And those are not supported, remember, so I can hopefully follow up and do more attacks. But we got no flags, but we got four hits, all right. So that guy actually got eliminated in one blow. It's a, that was a clean strike in the flank of that hoplite unit and they just dissolved. And uh, another banner for the Spartan, so it's two to two now. And we can go in here and we can battle again. We're gonna do that, so we attack those guys. It's five dice again. This time we got two hits. And the flag. We check the leader first. He's fine. So thing is we could battle back. But then we're gonna die, right? Or we take the flag, go there, but then those guys will kill us anyway. On the other hand, we leave those guys without targets and we can attack them. So I think I'm gonna do that anyway. So I'm gonna go there. Uh, so those guys can no more attack. Bit bad. Should we follow up? No, we shouldn't because I want to get the leader support for the last attack here and uh, I, will, I will just kill those guys off so I need one hit I got it I got two so those are now destroyed we got the third banner for the Spartans by that and we're gonna check the fate of that leader it's only one die now. He's okay. So he will now retreat to this full unit of hoplites there. Um, do I want to advance? Yes, I do. Simply because I bring myself further away from that full hoplite unit so I don't get the attack from them next turn. At least. Um, well, what a messy battle here. Uh, I mean, tremendous casualties on both sides and uh, just uh, attacks, counter-attacks happening here. So, that's that. And the Spartans are now in the lead, 3-2. to two. 
Um, and now it's the Athenians. Okay, double time. So even if we moved away there, they can now get onto us anyway. So they will of course play the double time. It's four of your units in a group. Well, that's a bit of a problem because that means we might need to activate those guys over there. Uh, not sure I really like to do that. But you know, that's the only reasonable thing to do now. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta do that. So I will activate those guys. I believe I can use. No, I cannot use ranged combat by this card actually. So the lights will just follow up as support, I guess. So we move these guys, well, where do we move them? Let's move them here then. Oh my. We dare to move those guys there. And then we move those guys... There, I guess. And now we are cutting our, our retreat path here, but we can at least ignore two flags. And we can move... Oh, I forgot, by the way, to move the Spartan. I'm gonna do that really quick. I forgot him. Uh, I'm moving two forwards. And now it's these guys, and they... They simply move here. And they cannot conduct any range combat. So... What's then? Well, these guys cannot battle, obviously. So we start here. It's four dice against the leader himself, Aristodemus. So four dice, and he's kind of, yeah, he can, he can ignore two flags. It's really hard to get him away. We cannot get him away more or less unless we roll three flags, but we can surely inflict some casualties here. Uh, well, we got two, two hits in. And damn. Let's see if the leader survived. Aristodemus is okay, and they will now battle back. Uh, inflicting one hit on the Athenians here. We need to check the leader. He's fine. So it's three blocks left here on the Spartan units, and I will take my chances to attack with these two block hoplite unit down here. Um, with a bit of luck, we can actually get him because we have we are adjacent to a leader. And almost we got two in. Not bad, not bad. We're gonna check Aristodemos again, and this time he fell. This time he fell, okay. So we got another anti-Spartan alliance banner. But the Spartans will still battle back. Uh, and they, if they get two hits, they also get a banner. Well, <laughs> if Aristodemus would have been alive, it would be an awesome roll, but now he did fall, so I cannot count those as hits. So we only get one hit in here. Oh my, this is bloody. Um, Aristodemus has fallen. Oh my. Well, this can, I mean, both guys need two more victory banners, so this can end at any moment, more or less. Anyone who gets a good card that can attack a few units of the other side will win because both sides have so weak units in, in there in the middle of the brawl here now. So, well, this can end at once. Okay, so here's the Spartan hand for the next turn. We can get two units here, one on each sector or two on the right hand side. Well, we only got the cavalry there, so I guess that's not too interesting. 
of course you could do a really crazy raid right around here attack those guys hopefully get them and then get that too and then it's a win but I don't really know we could get it with that card as well of course we're gonna take our chances to win the battle now with the Spartan so we play this card we're gonna order the cavalry in the center we're gonna order Well, must be those guys, I guess. And on the left hand side, well, let's bring the slingers into play again then. Let's start with a skirmish. I'll just fire against those hoplites, see what happens. It's two dice, and we got the hit. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna do the movement first. Always forgetting these cavalry, they are riding up here. I'm gonna do that crazy thing I talked about. Um, but we start here, so the hoplites will attack that lone unit there. Or. Yeah, let's do that. So it's four dice. Let's see what we get. We need one hit. We got the hit. Awesome. These hoplites are now gone. And we got one more Spartan banner. We need one more to win the game. But we cannot any more battle with this unit. I wouldn't even uh, advance, I think. I'll keep myself there. Yep. At least I right now have a retreat path and now's the crucial part here because those guys need to be fully successful to get these guys we have a problem that these guys are supported so I actually will need to get two hits to win the game because we cannot get them to retreat that easily and follow up with another cavalry attack that will simply not happen. Oh well, maybe this wasn't that brilliant of a plan anyway, but... Uh, well, we gotta do it now. We still can roll good, we need two hits, I know. We hit with swords and we hit with blue symbols, so it's fully possible. We only need two. And we got nil. <laughs> okay. No hits, we got a flag, but they ignore that, and they of course battle back, and they are adjacent to a leader, so they get two hits in, but um, we only need one of course, so now those guys also have four blocks of banners, so next banner wins the game. And since the, it's the anti-Spartan league, who goes next? I think you can guess who's gonna win this. <laughs> okay, so we have two in the center and we have two on the left. And I will of course play two in the center and I will play it really safe. I'm gonna go with the hoplites with the leaders. I'm gonna march these guys down and I'm gonna march these guys down. And we start there, got four dice, we need one hit, and we're done. And we got it. So those guys got eliminated. And the anti-Spartan league won the day. Five to four. Well, 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 well. What a clash. So, I mean, nothing left there. Little guys here, but we haven't seen that many action here, that's for sure, but I mean, it looks pretty empty <laughs> on the board, kind of. Um, lots of blocks out there, of course, and a real even battle. I don't know, I had a bit too high hopes of that last Spartan activation with the cavalry riding around there. I know it 
was a bit crazy because it only had one block left and cavalry is really fragile so I know that uh, maybe that was dumb but it could had uh, paid off I mean if I wouldn't do that maneuver well I didn't have that many other choices either I guess I, I couldn't win the game at least with the, the other cards I had what did I have I had uh, I don't remember I think it was two in the center I don't know I, I couldn't reach that many units you know and the leader was too far away Aristodemus was did fall already he, he would have been you know important in this last activation of course I, I'm pretty sure if Aristodemus hadn't been killed there we had seen another situation uh, you remember the battle that we did with the Spartan unit we rolled three leader symbols just when he uh, had fallen really bad luck there so I don't think even if we haven't done that crazy stuff the Spartans had lost anyway if this has happened because uh, they could have inflicted one more loss with any of these cards but then the Athenian would have done this anyway what they did now but anyway, I think this was a good and funny game. Uh, of course, pretty basic clash, just two lines moving into each other and and then it's about the cards and die rolls. But I like that, it's, a, it's, a, it's cool. And you never know what's uh, around the next band, you know. Just roll really bad or you draw that awesome or, or really crazy card that swings the battle to one side or another. But, uh, yeah. I liked it and 5 to 4 I mean that's an evidence of an even battle so that's also a sign of a good battle usually okay so I hope you liked it too and um, let's see uh, yeah we're gonna continue with the Corinthian war next time and I hope we'll be back then thanks for watching and bye bye